wanting to see the COVID undecided patient, we had to wear the N95. Good morning, guys. It's currently 5 a.m. right now. Heading to the hospital. Um, yeah, I'm excited for today. Today is my second week, the first day of my second week on my surgery rotation. Um, so last week I was in the urology clinic. Um, so I saw a lot of like bladder scans, prostate exams, and all of those things. It was really fun. But this is my first week on surgery rotation in the hospital. So I'll be rotating through the surgery ICU. So yeah, we'll be handling traumas, neurosurgery, and just generally um, post-op patients and all of that. So I'm really excited to see what, you know, the day holds. <gasps> Anyways. I'll catch up with you guys. So welcome to my channel guys. My name is Andy um, and I'm a third year medical student at St. George's University. I'm currently doing my surgery rotation. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so and please make sure you hit the like button as well. You guys are going to be following me along this entire week and I'm super excited to see what we get up to. It's freezing outside. Well, it's not freezing but it's really cold. So I'm wearing a sweater on top of my scrubs. Um, yeah. Be like that sometimes, girl. I love mornings, like low-key because it's like super quiet, and I can actually like hear myself thinking. Especially even on the bus, because I do take I take the bus to the hospital or sometimes the train. <laughs> the train is farther to walk, so it just depends on how I'm feeling that morning. If I think I need to wake myself up a little bit more, then I'll take the train. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, mornings are amazing, and. I hope to make it more of a habit to like wake up early by myself for no reason. <laughs> I hope that's not my bus. Okay, it's not. <laughs> okay, so I'm at the hospital. Yeah, I'm about to enter the hospital. Darkness, my old friend. Oh my god, and something told me to actually bring another another pair by them. Listen, damn it. Gonna oh. okay. tie it and hope it puts us together. Hey guys, it's 4 p.m. right now and I am basically done for the day. Just packing up. So I'm home now. I definitely had a productive Monday. I got to scrub into a T-VAR, which is a vascular surgery done by a vascular surgeon with the help of ultrasound and x-rays and all that the surgeon basically goes in through your femoral artery in order to get to your aorta in this case we went in from the femoral artery to the abdominal aorta in order to put the stent in to prevent the aneurysm from bursting and you know blood loss and all that so that was a really cool surgery to be a part of um i got to wear lead for the first time because there, there are x-ray machines in the operating room so everyone in there has to put on lead and a thyroid guard um, due to the radiation that you're exposed to in that room so that was an experience it's heavier than i thought it would be and we had to stand for about three hours so that was an experience but it was fun like it was definitely cool to be a part of it um and yeah that was basically how my monday went i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow as we continue in this journey. I'm going to go ahead and do some URL questions now. Perhaps maybe catch up on a Korean drama episode that is coming out today. That's all I'm gonna do today. And I'm going to head to bed latest by 10 because I have to be up again by 4 a.m. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day. Kind of woke up about couple of minutes late today so I didn't really have time to pick up the camera but I'm at the bus stop now it's currently like 10 a.m. I have a 
a patient for the day who's doing well so that's good today is a little bit more fast paced than it was yesterday so i'm excited about that but yeah just checking in hey guys okay let me take off my mask because i'm in here alone it hurts like after a couple of hours of this behind my ear so like sometimes i put it up here for a couple of minutes and then take it back so that like you know i'm covered but that's by the way um yeah so i'm done for today it's 4 p.m right now oh my n95 i had to go in um to see a patient that was not cleared for covid so i wore this it's really tight breathing was a struggle my nose was <sighs> she was crying today was good today was eventful no traumas guys i haven't had a trauma yet which kind of makes me sad well i have two more days on this service so hopefully before i am done we get a good trauma case i had a patient that i had to follow for today i didn't get to present him though to my attendant because he was basically in surgeries all day but i i had a patient that i was following I got to talk to him, do physical exam on him and all that. He went in to see the COVID undecided patient. He's COVID negative. It's all been cleared now. But, you know, just to be safe, we had to wear the N95. I'm ready to go home. Hey friends, so I <laughs> forgot to film this morning. Um, oh my god. But yeah, so I'm actually done for the day. It's currently 4.30 p.m. Ow. But yeah, today was interesting. Again, I got two patients today to follow and to actually do things. And I'm, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it more and more. Like, you know, being my second week and whatnot. It's like definitely better than when I even started this week. So definitely improving. We didn't have any traumas today, but that's okay. It's always tomorrow. Um, so I'm actually, <laughs> I'm craving Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so I'm gonna take myself I'm like treating myself to Chick-fil-A, although it's like not yet Friday, but I don't know. I felt like having Chick-fil-A and I'm going to do it. I feel like I'm going to end this video today because like I'm realizing that I, mean, I need this before. There's not much I can show you or like really tell, talk about or really um, talk about. So I feel like if I continue it, it's just going to get more, it's just going to be not as interesting. It's just going to get boring. So, I think I'm gonna end it today with Chick fil A in my hands because that's how you do life, guys. Do life, make life, no do you. What, what is the saying? Um, <laughs> chop life, make life, no chop you. Which basically means that you should enjoy life so life doesn't enjoy you. You only live once, okay? And baby, I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> guys, please eat healthy. This is again not encouraging bad eating habits it's healthy i am a happy girl okay i don't think you guys can really see what i'm eating fries then i got the spicy chicken so yeah <laughs> hey guys so i'm just realizing right now as i'm editing that i actually did not explain to you guys what a typical day was like in that week i just filmed um it's been a couple of weeks since then but um i'm just gonna explain that quickly so currently for my surgery rotation each student rotates under a different subspecialty of surgery so what that means is that on that week that i filmed i was in the surgical icu and then right now currently i'm in the clinic um and then next week I will be on night shift and the week after that I will be on the general surgery floors and then I get to be in the cardiothoracic um, unit as well. So just different um, units every week. So the week I filmed was the surgical intensive care unit. So basically we were dealing with post-op patients and um, neurosurgery patients and also we um, attend to the trauma calls in the ER because um, the hospital I'm at is a um, trauma to center um 
what else so a typical day i would normally have to be there by between 6 to 6 30. i get the list from the ninth float pa and then just look through the patients we as students get to pick two patients that we're going to follow and see and you know look up and all that so before the pa comes the pa for the day comes then we basically just look through everything check the overnight labs go to their nurses and ask them how you know the patient fared overnight and all that and if there are things that we think need to be um corrected or adjusted then when the pa comes and once they're done signing out we can definitely bring that up to the pa also we usually present these patients to the attendant so from so from 6 20 6 30 till seven is basically when you get to know about your patients and just look them up if you had a patient that you presented the day before then it's a good idea to you know keep presenting that patient because you know that person the best so um once that is over the pa for the day comes then sign out happens and then we round with the pa usually and so that takes a couple of sometimes an hour to maybe an hour and a half to round and everybody and make medical medication adjustments um and then so around like 8 30 it depends on the day but sometimes we have lecture that we have to go for um with the pas and the residents or then we get to sit down and just discuss the patient some more wait for the attendant to come round and when the attendant comes to round we round again um and then basically throughout the day if the er calls for a trauma consult then we have to go down we also round on the neurosurgery patients separately. So the day is not like set in stone, but it's definitely a lot of rounding um, and just learning as well. So we do get time as students um, when there's nothing happening, there's no trauma calls and we're not rounding or looking at patients. And you can always like take a couple of minutes to do some new world questions, quiz each other or um, ask the PA questions ask the surgeon questions and all that i did on my monday i did get to be a part of a procedure a tiva for an aortic um aneurysm um but for most of the rest of the week we actually didn't get any trauma calls which kind of was a bummer but i'll still get a chance once i'm on the general surgical floors to i'll still get a chance on some of the once I'm, once i'll still get a chance when once i'm on the oh my god can't speak english i'll get a chance when i'm on the floors to be a part of trauma so i'm not super bummed so like so it's i definitely will get a chance again um that was basically how the day would go and then we would usually typically leave around four so basically from 6 30 to 4 and it depends sometimes five sometimes the only day we left early was friday and that was 3 30 so yeah that was, it's a dynamic kind of unit so you just go with the flow whatever is happening that day is what you do um yeah that was basically it